What makes a good audiobook is really simple. It's just a good book told by a great storyteller. Audiobooks are all about storytelling. It doesn't matter if it's fiction or nonfiction. You still have to tell a story and sell a story. Yeah, there's a lot of things that go into making an audiobook really good. One of the things that I tell people when I'm directing is that the best audiobooks feel like a conversation with the listener's smartest and most interesting friend. Um, that's especially true for nonfiction. I think with fiction audiobooks, what makes a good audiobook is really similar to what makes a good novel. Uh, the best writing tends to feel inevitable, like it's sort of laid out before you by some invisible hand. And um, the best audiobook narrators, I think, act as that invisible hand when they're narrating. I think the expert narrators who have inspired me and educated me through their performances, it's not about the sound of their voice um, or something sort of sparkly and gymnastic about their performances. The great narrators are really channels or mediums more than they are performers. They're not uh, layering something over the top, but letting something move through. And that's, that's a beautiful way of creating work. So I don't just listen to narrators. I also listen to performing uh, musicians, singers, uh, Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Johnny Cash. Listen to the way Frank Sinatra phrases things, um, the way Johnny Cash lets a lot of gravel just sort of live in his voice, and the way they use rhythm. I mean, you're not singing in this work, but use of rhythm, use of phrasing, the way you bring people into a story, I've learned a lot listening to great singers doing that.